All right, Walkers here, and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be the second in a mini-series that I've started, showcasing parts of my Luna C army. Before one big video at the end, it's going to showcase everything, including all the vehicles that I have built. And I have a lot, and I mean a lot, of large vehicles and things that I haven't built. And that's not through just me not caring about it. It's just, it's a pain. But, I mean, I'm talking multiple pelicans, countdown, several things that I haven't got built. I do, I have multiple countdowns. I've got one of them built, which is great. The other one, not yet. But yeah, if I ever manage to get all my stuff built, I will obviously show it all off. But I will show off what I've got so far done um, in the big video at the end. And then, of course, I'll do my Covenant Army after that. So this is going to be quite a long series of things, but... Hopefully you will find them all interesting. So this is my Hither Reach figures, and as you can probably see at the front here, we have the stars of the show, both in the game and in my Hither Reach collection, I suppose. And this is three out of six figures that I'm going to need to complete the infamous and awesome Noble Team. And it's actually pretty recently that the final figure of Noble Team was finally uh, officially released as that figure, which is this figure right here, which is Cat Noble Two. She was finally released as an official, newly articulated figure. Um, excuse me, in the Mega Constructs um, Brute Chopper raid set. So we've been waiting for that for a long, long time. Finally got it. So now it is possible to 100% complete Noble Team in without any of the old articulation figures and the new articulation figures mixed in. Um, and then, so once I've completed Noble Team, I'm going to try and get all of the not Noble Team figures, which is. Um, the, the earlier non-official ones, um, there's only one or two of those left for me to get, because then there's not many of them made, but you know. Right, so let's get into this. First of all, here yeah, we have Noble Six, his official figure, um, from the Unicy Gungu set. Very nice figure, and all these two are in sets that I've still seen in stores now. Emil, not so much, but that was because it was a 2014 set which was actually the year that the new articulation was first introduced, if you didn't know that. Alright, so next up we have Cat's official figure, but before we go on, I'm just going to give these three figures, the Noble Team, a special spotlight because of how awesome they are. Uh, obviously, since they're new articulation, you can remove and customise all their armour. I'm just going to, I'm not going to bother doing that for this video. I'm not going to bother removing all their armour, it took too long. So yeah, very nice figure. And then we have Cat, Noble 2. And she didn't come with a silver magnum, she actually came with a black one. But I just think she it just looks better when she has a silver one, I don't know why. Let's give her figure a great look. This is such a great figure, I love having this in my collection. It's one of my favourite figures that I have at the moment. Really well made. I love the robot arm as well. I think that's actually from some sort of Mega Bloks Terminator series or something, I'm not entirely sure. And then, of course, um, Silver Visor on the helmet. And then the final member of the Noble Team that I have so far is Emil. And these three are all pretty easy to get. Um, because it's called the easy half of Noble Team to acquire. The hardest one here is probably Emil because the set is a little bit older. But um, the other three members, which are George, uh, Carter, and June, uh, are all going to be much harder to get simply because they're in much more expensive um, sets. George is in the, um, oh by the way, sorry, uh, Cat, as I said, is in Brute Chopper Raid, and then Emil is from the 2014 uh, All-Terrain Mongoose set. Bad. So yeah, two members of Noble Team have actually come in Mongoose sets, and Emil, there we go, Emil is being a pain. Um, then, as I say, George is in the Drone Outbreak set, and Carter and June are both in the same set, which is the 2014 uh, Halo Wars Elephant, which is kind of a good, because it makes the set even more cool and bad, because it means they're hard to get. So obviously those are probably going to be the last two I get my hands on. Um, Alright, so now moving into the main actual figures, starting off with Mark 5B variant Spartans, which are the armor set that Noble 6 has by default. So this is the sort of not Noble Six figure starting off here. Um, pretty clearly inspired by Noble Six, has a brownish colour and it's a Mark 5B. So you know, not Noble Six figure. And I actually have two of these because as I said I have two countdowns. These are from the countdown set. 
And then I have these two yellow ones, and these are from series, ooh, I believe it's series six, but don't quote me on that for certain. Um, and then we have a third one here, but I've actually painted him green. I did this a while ago, it's bad. But it was a yellow, but I painted it green because I you know, already had two others. So yeah. Uh, and those are the rares from that series. I think it is series six. So moving on, we have the Tan or Desert, Arc 5B, whatever you want to call it. Tan or Desert. He is from, where is he from? He's from the Red UNSC Spade, I believe. Yeah, the Red UNSC Spade. Uh, and then we have this blue one, and he's from the uh, Blue Series, right here, this, the Blue Series uh, Rocket Hog. Uh, and then we've got Aerosol Spartan. So this first one here, um, I just want to say that I actually misplaced this one in the wrong compartment in my collection box. So if there are any others missing that I don't remember, then and I find them, I'll just make a little update post or something about that. But yeah, that is the pink one. Now this one is clearly a female, while this one here is a male, so it's pretty obvious. Oops, pretty obvious when you've got them in front of you. But this pink one is from series five. I remember that for sure, and she's the ultra rare figure from that series. Uh, and then we have this blue one here, and this one is also from the blue series Rocket Hog, same as that blue Mark V B. And then we move on to Grenadier. So this one here is the uh, what the community calls the Not George figure because, well, he's not actually George because for some reason there was some licensing issues, so they didn't actually call him George. But he's clearly very much meant to resemble George with the uh, gold armor and the bronzes visor and the armor set being very similar to George. Uh, the new George figure is the official George figure, looks very, very different to this. So if I get my hands on it, or you just look it up or something, uh, you will see it's very different. It's much more yellow. Okay, so then, moving back, we have these two blue ones. These two blue grenadiers here. And these are uh, both from, well, you only get one, but they're both from the countdown set. You only get one in the set. And then this red one is the ultra rare for series six, I believe it is. And then we move on to Hazop. So these two are actually both from the same set. But the thing with that set is it was the uh, Revenant attack. You got some, this was a thing that was around with the Halo Reach sets because of how awesome the customization is in Halo Reach. Megablox uh, made their own little thing, I can't remember what it's called, customize and create or something where they included different armor pieces that you could put on your Spartan. And because I got two Revenant attacks, I put one set up on one of them, and the other on the, um, on the other. So this one is um, has the golden visor, the... I'm not sure what shoulder piece that is. Um, it's one of the small ones that you get early on in the game. I think it might be Jump Jet, actually. And then he also has... Uh, the oh, what's the name of that shoulder piece anyway he has that shoulder piece there and the second one has a black visor and a red stripe going down the helmet and he has let me see he has eva on his right shoulder and then i can't remember the name of that i think it's ctc maybe that shoulder piece on his left let me move on to the others. So this one here is Tan or Desert, and he is for also from the UNSC Red Spade, same as this one. Uh, and this yellow one is one of my favourites. He is from the uh, anti air gun versus Rocky Hog set, one of my favourite all-time sets. Um, even though I did manage to get one, I lost a few parts to it, so it's not quite complete. In the future, I'm going to buy another one of those. Um, in the future, I'm just going to buy another one of all of my favorite all-time sets, just so that I, well, all the ones I really need to. Um, I might not bother with the Phantom for a while, because it's pretty, it's literally missing one tiny little piece, which I have replaced as well, so it's barely worth it at all. Um, and then finally, we, uh, we have the new articulated figures. Uh, in contrast with the other video, I've put these at the back instead of first. And these two are both the same, and they are from, I believe, series Bravo, Charlie, maybe? Um, but they are new articulated Hazard figures. And then the final figure, uh, which I put at the back because he was on his own, and also because 
he's kind of quite special, you probably, you've probably obviously seen him at the back, is this guy. And this is actually um, one of only, I think, two JFO Spartans that Megavox have made. Uh, and this one, the other one was released, I think, with George in that set, which I'm going to get my hands on. But this one is one of those really ultra-rare, um, transparent, coloured figures that were in... Um, in with another figure in a few pa in every every other pack um, of some series, I believe they started doing that around series five or so. But um, yeah, this is actually the only one I've ever gotten. So really happy to have this. I could have gotten more if I tried, but I was never really that bothered about them to be honest. But very happy to have this one. And he did actually come with a translucent blue target locator as well. That's pretty nice. But yeah, this is my JFO, no articulated and very nice figure. So guys, again, thanks for watching this video, new one coming soon, and I'm just going to be doing what I did in the last video with a quick pan out to show you the full scale. Again, pretty small group, but that's why these are not that long for videos, the next one is going to be a much larger group, which is going to be all my other Spartans that I haven't already covered, which is the majority of them. Right, so once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.